Microsoft just unveiled the lineup of brand new games that will be joining Xbox Game Pass for July. And I just got to ask if these new titles are worthy of subscribing to the service or keeping your subscription active. We're going to talk about all that right now. What's going on, guys? Randall Thor19, the man with the million, back again with another video. Hope everybody is doing well. I took a little break from YouTube to play some games. Hope everybody missed me. But this video is going to be about Xbox Game Pass and the titles, the nine new titles that will be joining the service in July. Now, if you guys don't know, Xbox Game Pass is a subscription service where you pay $10 a month and you get access to a whole bunch of games, over 150 of them. A lot of them are Xbox One titles, but a lot of them are also Xbox 360 backwards compatibility titles. Now, this month is actually pretty good as it features two brand new titles launching into Game Pass alongside their actual releases. Now that is where Game Pass shines in my opinion, is when you have games like Sea of Thieves, State of Decay 2, Laser League launching alongside their actual releases so people save money. And I hopefully uh, the service Xbox Game Pass kind of uh, evolves more towards that because I like to see brand new titles launching day and date. Now what are the games and what are the new ones launching day and date? Well, the marquee title for the month is clearly, in my opinion, Warhammer Vermintide 2, which launches into Xbox Game Pass and regular release on July 11th. It is the sequel to Warhammer Vermintide. It's set in the Warhammer Fantasy Battles universe. It's a four-player co-op game, and it's basically Left 4 Dead versus Rats, uh, where you have like a, a couple different classes of characters, melee, archer, magic, and... While I never played the original Warhammer Vermintide, I have friends that swear by that game that say it is a ton of fun. And there has been a beta that is going around for Vermintide 2, and people are saying it is an absolute blast to play. And I believe when this game comes out, it's going to be $30 or $40. So once again, you know, Xbox Game Pass being 10 if you're interested in playing this game... It's obviously a no-brainer to sign up and check it out for yourself. Now, the other new title that's launching into Xbox Game Pass is Bomber Crew, which drops into Game Pass on July 10th. It is a strategy simulation game where you control every aspect of a World War II bomber, ranging from tagging enemy fighters, managing your O2 supply, ensuring weapons have ammo, and naturally making your target to to achieve your objective. Doesn't really seem like my type of game, but then again. Uh, not every game in you know Game Pass is going to be for me. So that is the two brand new titles launching into Game Pass. We also have some 360 games, and they're actually pretty huge 360 titles. Uh, one being Fallout 3, which is quite amazing in my opinion. I love Fallout 3. And the other one being Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion, which is pretty interesting considering Microsoft, during their E3 press conference, also announced that Fallout 4 was joining Game Pass that day, and Elder Scrolls Online. So it seems like Bethesda's getting really on board with the service, as you have both Fallout games and a couple Elder Scrolls games on there. So if you've been itching to play through Fallout 3 and 4, hey, sign up to Game Pass, uh, and you can play it to your heart's content. So that is pretty cool, right? Uh, the other rest of the games, we have Dirt 4, which is a racing game from Codemasters. It's pretty fun. Uh, the Dirt series has always been a good time, so I recommend you check that out. We have Shadow Complex Remastered, which is a remaster of the 360 version of Shadow Complex. I actually really enjoyed this game back on the 360. Haven't replayed the remastered version, but I do recommend it for people that didn't get to play Shadow Complex back in the day. We also have Human Fall Flat, which is like the indie title. Uh, for the month actually has pretty decent reviews people really seem to like human fall flat I have it myself, but I haven't yet played it and then we also have Abzu Which is a really easy thousand gamer score for you achievement hunters out there. You can pick this up uh, And get through it in a couple hours. It is what you would call a walking simulator Although it takes place in the ocean. It's got some insane visuals. It's got a pretty interesting story pretty crazy like you don't know what's going on it's a nice little chill adventure game that you can play for a couple hours and get to the end and that game normally retails for 20 bucks it's pretty expensive for how short it is and it's joining game pass uh so i think that's pretty pretty cool and then zombie army trilogy is the last game now this is from the makers of sniper elite 
It's basically sniper elite. You take all your, uh, you know, your long range weapons, your sniper guns, but this time instead of fighting, uh, you know, soldiers, you're fighting the undead. You're fighting uh, the Nazi zombies that have, uh, I don't know, risen. And it's actually a four player co op game. It's a ton of fun to play, especially if you enjoy the sniper games. In fact, I actually think it's better than Sniper Elite 4 and actually better than Sniper Elite 3. A really good time to be had there. So those are the nine games joining Xbox Game Pass for July. However, Microsoft also said that they'll be making an announcement on July 10th during the Inside Xbox where they'll be sharing new information about a brand new title. So potentially there could be 10 games joining xbox game pass in july which is great because sometimes you get games leaving like i know there was three games leaving in uh end of this month june and there was like 20 that left uh at the end of may it's always a revolving kind of subscription service just like netflix you got games coming in you got games moving out but i actually think this month is pretty good just for the fact of warhammer is in there warhammer is going to be like a 40 dollar title it seems like it's going to be pretty awesome the fact that it's launching there day one is a pretty huge get for xbox game pass and hopefully people uh you know check it out anyways that is the video guys let me know what you think are you happy with this lineup for the month if you are hit that like button uh consider subscribing to the channel for more content uh hit the notification bell all that good stuff sorry a little bit rusty first day back in a little bit but uh yeah later guys have a great one